All right, all right. So what did I do? What did I do? Well, well, I'll tell you what I did. I went to the Queen's Comic Party, and, um, and it was my first time. Hey, listen, I'm a Queen's guy. I should, I should, I should have went there previously, but I didn't go. Hey, huh? Oh, hey, you're the Kool Aid guy. Yeah. What are you doing? Just waiting. For what? I'm just waiting, dude. Relax. Hey, is there any place around here that sells batteries? Guys, don't don't distract me. All right, I, I gotta really be up. So there's no organs or glands or anything, right? It's just a liquid. Yeah, yeah, it's just a liquid. Um, I don't know if this is a weird question, but can I have some? All right, fine. Tilt your head back, and I'll lean my liquid down into your mouth. Oh, now I don't want it. Oh crap! Did I miss it? Cool. Do, do you really have to be so vulgar every time we we we, we start an unboxing? Uh, is, is that what you have to do? Oh yeah. Well, no, yeah. I'm asking you rhetorically. I was being sarcastic. You don't have to be so vulgar. Okay? Are you ready for the unbox? We went to Queen's car. Uh, we went to the Queen's Queen's comic party. We, we went there, and we got stuff. You ready to unbox? Oh yeah. All right. Now there's better. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Let's let, let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> So what did I do? What did I do? Well, well, I'll tell you what I did. I, I went to the Queen's Comic Party, and um, and uh, it was my first time. Hey, listen, I'm a Queen's guy. I should, I should, I should have went there previously, but I didn't go. I've only been back in Queens for a little while now. It's only about a year and a half now, or whatever the case is. But but, but I should have been there before because I'm a Queens guy. And so 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 uh, so 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 we got a camera. We got a new camera. By the way, by the way, look, zoom, zoom, boom. Okay, uh, just, just so you know, uh, uh, camera, remote. And we're gonna. I'm gonna show you what I got from from there, and I'll tell you my whole experience with the Queens Comics Party. Comic Party, not Comics Party. Comic Party. Queens Comic Party. Okay. All right. All right. So. Oh. All right, all right, sorry. So let's let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Oh, 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 oh. All right. So let's. You see, I got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna show you what I got. Let's before before I show you what I got. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Look, bag, bag, and, and look. It's says thank you on there. Thank you for shopping here. Thank you. It's a bag. It's not a cheap old bag. It's it's made out of fabric. Yeah, they gave it to me. They gave it to me. Why? To carry my stuff. To carry my stuff. Why? Because that's what you do when you go buy something for somebody. They give you a bag to put it in. That's how it works. That's how it works. They gave me back. Joe, they, they scored points right off the bat. Hey, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. All right. So, points right away. Right away. So, I went into the place. There was not a lot of people in there. I think I went. I went there late, and at the same time, uh, it was pouring that day. It was not good weather and that kind of thing. So, you know, yeah, it was not great that kind of thing. But, 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 that doesn't mean I didn't find cool stuff because I did find some cool stuff. And I'm gonna show you the cool stuff I bought. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff I bought. I bought some dollar stuff, and I bought some stuff for more than a dollar. And I'm gonna show you them all. I'm gonna show you them all, and I'll tell you my experience as I go through it. First off, first off, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me. Let, let me. Let me tell you. First off, first off, I went and I met everybody in there. They're all very hospitable, very nice people. I had, at least the people I talked to. Maybe maybe they're not all nice. Maybe they're all assholes. I don't know. Maybe they just they have to take my money. But either way, I had a really nice experience talking to them all and that kind of thing. So I, I you know, yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm taking a little bit of time to pull them out because I want I want to separate them because I got two different vendors. I got I met a guy named Carl. 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 Really nice guy. Really really nice guy. Expect. Really nice guy. It was over at in Jackson Heights. It was in Jackson Heights in the Veteran Hall. You know, like a veterans kind of hall kind of place that I did it. That they were doing it at. And yeah, that's where I went and I met Carl. So I got a ton of stuff from Carl. I walked around. I didn't take any video. Why? Because I didn't. Okay? I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't take any video. But but as you can see, I got stuff. I got stuff. So I went to Carl. And he had a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff right here. All dollar books. These are all dollar books. All dollar books. And I'll show them really quick because they're dollar books, but I'm going to show you what I got really quick. I got this. Huh? Purgatory. Look, look. Look at the purgatory. Look at this. Look. Purgatory. Purgatory. Very sexy action. Very sexy action. Purgatory. Just nostalgia from back in the days. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Purgatory. Oh, what? Is she licking? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, are you, what are you doing licking? Hey, that's kind of weird. Okay. Then, 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 uh, let's turn these around. Let's turn these around. Hey, stop drinking. Okay. Then, then I got this. I got this. Amazing Spider-Man. Number 53. Why? Because. Because. I needed it for a run filler. And then I got 369. Why? Because. I got it as run filler. I needed it for my collection. I got 273. Why? Well, this one, I didn't necessarily need, but I wanted. I, I, anytime I see Amazing Spider-Man under 300, under number three, under, under issue 300 for a buck, or, I'll grab it. Why not? This this, this is uh, 376. Because. I got this one because. I just needed it. Okay? And then the same thing, 280, was under uh, under against the 300. So I picked it up for a buck. I'm not going to take 15 on it. It's Amazing Spider-Man. Did I need it? No. I wanted it. For a dollar. 
No more than a dollar. Dollar was good. And then I got 384. 384. Again, just run filler. And 386. Again, run filler. And number 42. Again, run filler. That's all. All right. So a lot of amazing Spider-Man. A, a lot. A lot of amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Look, look at that. Okay. All right. So now, let's, let's get into stuff that's non-Spider-Man. Okay. Let's get into stuff that's non-Spider-Man. Okay. So I was talking to Carl for a little bit. He's a good guy. Uh, but uh, I, I, he, he just he's just doing this for five, you know he, he, he's he's doing it to make some extra money. But he, I think he generally enjoys what he's doing selling. I got a copy of Pit Number One. I just pick up these Image Ones from that initial Image Run in the nineties. Anytime I can find a nice copy of them, I pick them up for you know for a dollar. I'll take them. This was a cool one. This was a cool one. Uh, X Men Annual Number One. Last uh, Jim Lee issue of Marvel in Marvel before he left to, to start Wildcats over in uh, Image. Cool book to have. Again for a buck, you're not gonna go wrong. Oh, I lied. I do have more Spider-Man. I lied. Sorry, I lied. Okay, so then I got Amazing Spider-Man number 14. For a buck. Nice shape. Reason I got it. First Chasm. First Chasm. All right, I got it. And then, oh, they, they, these are cool. I love getting these. Love them. Love them. Anytime I can find them. I, I paid more than a dollar for this every time I've seen it. That's so why when I found it, there's no brain for me to grab this. Spider-Man. Uh, this was a pr produced in cooperation with National Committee Prevention of Child Abuse. I love picking up these. I love picking up these... Um, these like sponsored type of books. There you go. Oh, she's, she's hitting the little girl. Spider Man Saber. Spider Man Saber. All right. All right. Quit your crying, baby. Look at the abusive dad. He's like drunk and alcoholic and he's telling the little kid to stop crying. Quit your crying, baby. No, no, don't be, don't be me. To, this was brought by 7 Eleven. Okay. All right. So sponsored by 7 Eleven. I love these. I love these promotional kind of comics. I love picking them up. Uh, sometimes you find some really bizarre sh crap that's in there. All right. All right. So then, then, then I got found this. Jaja 100. I got a whole thing of like finding. When I find like number 100s, number 100, number 200s, number 300s, I, I picked them up and I got a weird fetish with that. Plus it's cool Cobra Commander code. Then I found this. This was a really nice find. A nice 20 cents Thor, number 218. I couldn't believe this was in there for a buck. I was happy to get it. There's another one that I was surprised to find there for a buck. This was another nice, really nice copy. Hercules, number one from his first miniseries. This was really cool. Hercules, Hercules. Okay. And, and then, and then, and then, and then I got a copy of X-Men number one. Jim Lee, why? Because. Because you never can have enough of these. I, I think I got a short box of them. I, I can never have enough. So I have more now. Got it for less than cover price when it came out. I take that. Then I got this. Squadron Supreme, number one. Love this series. Very underrated series. Really underrated series. I'm basically just, I got, I got the whole set I'm, and I got like mix and match pieces to make a second set. I'm going to, I'm trying to complete that set so I could like pick out the better of the two uh, and keep them. And then I'll probably just like put it on eBay for like the full set for somebody or something like that or whatnot. I don't know. Then they got more, more Spider-Man. I got a lot of Spider-Man. I didn't realize I got so much Spider-Man. They got Spider-Man number. Uh, they got Spider-Man number three. They messed up here. They put the, the logo upside down. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, McFarlane? Why'd you do that? You put it upside down. You put it upside upside down. All right. Anyway, number three. I got that. And then, and then I got um, King Size Annual Fantastic Four number fifteen. Pretty cool. Look at the Doom's all pissed. Doom lives. Doctor Doom lives. Ooh. Okay. And then, and then I could have passed this one up. Catwoman number one. Love that. Love that. Let's see what the hell. Is it? it looks like you got like something here. I, I think I can clean that off. I'm gonna clean that off, and then it's not gonna have something there. But for now, it's got something. I don't know what that something is. I'm kind of jizz or goo or whatever. But I'm gonna get it off. You know, I feel dirty. Anyway, then, then I got Star Wars number four, the Star Wars, based on the rough draft screenplay of George Lucas. I just got this because I don't have this, and I've never seen this before. And it's 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 like a a nice dark horse book from back in the days. Not in good shape. But I was just I got this more as a curiosity. Stay still, okay? I got this more of a curiosity, okay? What the hell? I got more Spider Man. 594. This one I got. Oh, this one. I, I don't know. I just like this. Look at this guy. Mattress Man. M Mr. Mattress. He wants you. Huh? Again. Uh, oh, I love this. What What if? I love this first series of What If. Number 29. Couldn't resist this. Then I got Six from Series. Number one. Very underrated series. Some of my favorite covers ever for a mini series done on this series. Love this, I love this series. So I was able to find number one. And I was able to find number two. Interestingly enough. I wish I could find more. I would have grabbed them all. Putting together that series. Then I got this. Look at this. Look at this Hulk. Look at this Hulk. Look, look, look. He's so angry. He's so... Look, look how angry he is. You know, a nice virgin cover. Let me see what's in here. Let me see what's going on here. Look, what is this? I, I don't even know what the hell I got. Oh, it's a Mortal Hulk number 17. It's it's it, it's it's the Battle Lines variant. Art by Heijin Im. Just cool. I don't know. I just, I, uh, Hulk's my guy, so... Fuck. No brainer. Then I got this. This is disgusting, this book. But it's really cool. It's a 20 cent Superman. It's a 20 cent Superman. Look at, look at the, little, the little cripple kid. He's beating the shit out of Superman. Look at that. Look, look, he's beating the shit out of him. Good for him. Good for you, little boy. Beat him up. Beat him up. Anyway, this book is beat the shit. I thought I, I'm going to start doing some cleaning and restoration and stuff like that just to practice and play around and maybe make content for the channel. So I thought this was a good, good candidate to play around with. So I picked it up. I don't want to mess it up, but if I do mess it up, 
Hey, it's not the end of the world. I'm here to fuck for it. Okay? But maybe I can make it beautiful. Maybe, maybe I can make Superman great again. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Then we got Atari Force number one. Why? Because you can never have too many Atari Force number ones in your collection. All right? Then I got Fantastic Four number one. Uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four number one. In really, really nice shape, believe it or not. I was shocked to find this in such good shape. And this actually has some value to it. A lot of people don't know. I had this entire run, believe it or not. Entire run. I think it's like 60 issues. Um, but there's only a few key, like expensive books in that. I think one is one of them. There's Marvel Zombies is another part of that collection. So whenever I see the ones that I identify that I know are good, I always pick them up. Because, you know, Fantastic Four is going to come to MCU. I got to spec. So I'm specking. I don't know which Fantastic Four is going to come, but let's spec. All right, that's what we're doing. And then, and then, and then, I got Incredible Hulk number nine and King Size Annual. Why? Because I like the Hulk. And I didn't have this. So I got it for a dollar. And oh, ooh, I love this book. I love it. This book, this book was my first ever back issue book. I, I, it was in my original collection. I never got it back. Story's not great, but it hits so much nostalgia with me that I had to uh, get it. I'm going to read it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it again and see if it could jolt some of my memory. But this was the first back issue book of the Hulk I ever bought. Um, I was a big Hulk fan. I was buying the, the, the current stuff when it was coming out. And then the first time I went into a uh, comic shop, they had a quarter bin. And this was one of the books that I got it. Here's the kicker, though. Here's the kicker. I got it, and it had this ripped off. I, I used to buy a lot of those ripped off type of books because there were new stands that were re re uh, returned. And I had a bunch of these. I had 181, believe it or not, like that. I had I had a lot. But this this I had to get just for nostalgia and for a buck. I, I was going to go This was really cool that I found this. Batman Rebirth, number one. It's got a $10 price on there. I don't know if that's a real price on there, but for a buck? I, I didn't mind getting that. I didn't mind getting that. And I heard there's a lot of good things about Snyder's run. So I was like, hey, let's get it. And then, and then, and then, and then I, I found a Star Wars uh, High Republic, number seven, for a buck. And, you know, the, my reasoning behind this, I just pick up these Star Wars High Republic, earlier Star Wars stuff. If they're for a buck, I get it. And I just slowly compile and put together sets. So that's my reason. Okay. So let's get those out of the way. And I'll show you some of the good stuff that I got. Okay. I'll show you some of the good stuff. That was good stuff. This is better stuff. All right. So I'm not going to tell you how much I got these. And I'll tell you how much I got them as a, as a set after. Okay. So I bought this. Amazing Spider-Man. More Amazing Spider-Man. I got Amazing Spider-Man 265. And what's the significance of this? Huh? Huh? It's the first uh, Silver Sable. Okay. So it's the first Silver Sable. This could use a lot of love. It's not the greatest condition. Not the worst condition, but it's not the greatest condition. But it had a sticker price of number 35. Keep track of the sticker prices. Okay. And I'll give you a, a, a tip after. And then I found Something's Killing the Children, number six. Now, this series is not what it used to be. Definitely not what it used to be. Okay. Definitely not, not what it used to be. Um, but these, these used to be very, very expensive. Okay. This price is probably reflecting how expensive it was during COVID days. Okay. Didn't pay that price. But I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting the entire series now that it's on the cheap. Instead of paying like 100 bucks for these stupid books when they were hot, I'm getting them a lot cheaper. I didn't pay 50 bucks for it, but I'll tell you at the end of how much I paid for everything. Then we got Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., number eight. Which is a really nice copy of your Fury. The biggest defect it has is this, this, this Scribble Scrabble right here. That's okay. I'm okay with the Scribble Scrabble. Other than that, it's a beautiful book. I'm happy with it. I like I like a lot of this old uh, old stuff. This is this is this is not a Soronko. This is a uh, Frank Bruner uh, uh, copy cover. But really, really cool. Then I found this. This was pretty cool. Moon Knight number one. Moon Knight number one. Jeez, I have another copy of this, but it's beat. It's a kind of beat. So like, I, I needed to get one that was a little nicer. Again, this one had a ten dollar thing. This had a sixty dollar on there. And then I found this, which this I have been actively looking for a decent copy of it. This is an okay copy. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. You know, if, if I had to grade it, uh, I'll rate it. Uh, I would say it's an eight, eight and a half, somewhere on there. Uh, maybe with cleaning and pressing, I could get a nine, maybe nine point two. I don't know. Uh, but at a forty-five, I'm gonna judge red. He is the law. He is the law. He is the law. Look at look, 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 judge red to that little guy. He messed him up. Look, look, look. Oh my god. Oh my god. What did you do then? Uh, oh my god. He put chains in his mouth. Okay. All right. So then that was it. Then they had bundles. They had bundles. He had a deal that was going. Um, they pick five books for 20 bucks. So I started going through this. I got X-Men 156. Very underrated book, by the way. I think it's the origin and the whole story telling the Summers family and, and how they, they all link together and so they had Alex and Scott, which is which is Cyclops and Havoc and, and Corsair. Um, I believe that's what that is. And then um, I think this is somehow connected too with that. 154. So I got 156 of X-Men. 154. Nice copies. Nice copies. Again, keep in mind, those books I'm showing you right now, they were uh, 5 for 20. It was $5 a book, but 5 for 20 he was giving a deal. And then we got Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Does whatever spider can. Again, I got a lot of Spider-Man. I can't believe I got that. That many Spider-Man. Anyway, so I got 205. Not a great. This is not the greatest copy. Again, this, this is going to go under my... Let's try to make this... Let's try to make Black Cat great again. Um... I think this is your second or third uh, uh, appearance. That's the reason I picked it up. Okay, but and plus I needed it, so I got it. And then I found these two, which is really cool. That I found it. I found two seventeen. Amazing Spider-Man, first ever, 
first ever you know, team up with Hydro Man and, and Sandman. It means nothing, but uh, she's a really cool uh, early 200s uh, Amazing Spider Man book. But I found this one, and then I found this one. And the reason I got both of them, this one is a little nicer than this one, uh, but this one was uh, direct, and this one was, was uh, a newsstand. So I just thought it was cool that they were both there, and basically for four bucks a piece, because if you divide. Five into twenty comes out to four dollars. Math people. Okay, so I divided it, and for four bucks a piece, I don't think I, 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 I didn't go wrong. I, I don't like the fact that I have both of them. You know, it's nice to have them together. Anyway, that's that's basically what I got from Carl. So you see this stack of books I have here, plus all these books that I got here. A lot of books, a lot, a lot of books. You know, the sticker prices, the, everything they're asking. We're talking about you know, well over, well over. Whew, is it 45, 60, 105, 115, uh, 165 plus 35, 200 plus 20, uh, 220 plus all this, plus all this. Uh, there's like 40 books or something you know um more more than 40 books we're talking about probably about 250 dollars worth of books i ended up getting them all for um uh, i think the entire bundle for 175 i think he gave me a deal for which i thought was really fair because he he actually he actually had very fair prices on some of them some of them are a little bit over like this something's building children but for the most part he was very fair on the prices um and and he was workable he was workable he didn't he didn't try to gouge me and i didn't try to gouge him he gave me 175 for this i was more than happy to take them and plus i wanted to go there and show my support i've heard a lot of really great things about queen's uh, comic party i know the, the recent controversy that they've had with the epic situation and all that um thoro talks about them all the time as far as uh, his love for that uh, community so I, I wanted to go show my love so uh, that's carl's batch carl's batch carl carl now now we're gonna go into Yo, Bash. So I found this guy, Ian. He's actually part of the podcast uh, for the uh, comic uh, uh, Queen's Comic Party um, podcast. And he's got a taste for weird books like me. So he's like really into weird books. And he gave me, a, like, I went and found a bunch of weird books. I didn't want to go crazy because I, like, you know, I bought a bunch of stuff from uh, Carl before that. And I just had to take a look at his stuff because he's got really weird, cool stuff. I had to take a dive into getting some stuff. So I started off with this, which I, I was really, really happy with this. Um, Alien Worlds, number two. Nice Dave Steven covers. I love these covers. I'm a big collector of them. And this guy knows what he's selling, too. He writes on there or whatever. He's not like some schmuck that doesn't know what the hell he's writing. He knows what he's selling. Um, then I found... I'll tell you what I'll tell you what I paid for them all together at the end. I'll just Let me get through these first. Um, you can see what the sticker price is. They're like $8. Then I found Johnny Homicide of Maniac. This, I believe, is uh, printing number 24. So ever since I got my first uh, printing again, now I'm on a hunting to get all 27 printings. So whenever I see them in decent shape, I'm going to pick them up. Uh, so I added this one on, on there. Believe it or not, all the printings are not cheap of this book not cheap at all if you know you know this is the kind of book that if you know you know okay so it's not for everybody it's for weird collectors like me and that's what i you know then i found some really cool robert crumb uh, uh action over here uh, hup 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 number one now this is not the original this is, not, this is a reprint okay you can tell it's a reprint from the uh, of the 495 that's on the cover and i knew it was a reprint right off the get, get well, I didn't, like, but if it, if it was the original print it would have been more expensive i know that for a fact but i didn't have a copy of any any printing of this plus i'm a big i'm a big collector of of uh getting um Political covers and stuff like that. I like satirical political covers. This is the Bill Clinton political. Can you tell? Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Hey, fanboy. Grow up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Listen. Listen. Are we going to waste your whole life looking at the, the superhero crap? No. How about you look at that? Huh? How about you look at that? How about you look at that? Yeah, Bill Clinton. You tell him what to look at. You tell him what to look at. Hillary, turn around. Okay. All right. Don't be afraid. All right. All right. So I got that. Robert Crumb. And again, if you know Robert Crumb, you know what he's all about. I love the, the the down underground book. Then I found this. This was well, this was interesting as hell. We had a whole conversation about this. Uh, really, really a whole a big conversation about this, and um, really interesting. Zip, Zip Comics number one. It's a British publication. I've never seen this before in my life. He never seen this before in his life before he obtained it. Yeah, and and we don't know what to make out of this. To be honest with you, he didn't know how to price this. I didn't know how what, what it was worth. But I got a mentality that when I see something that I never heard of, heard of, never seen before, and nobody knows anything about it, and it strikes my interest for one reason or another, I got to pick it up. And it's got that Robert Crumb style art in there, and it's definitely an underground kind of book. Uh, you can see the twenty pence on there. Um, you know, I just had to pick it up. It, it, really interesting. I do. I have to do my research on this. Anybody in the in, uh, that's watching knows anything about this, you let me know because I'm really curious about this. Hey, all my English people, the Hooter and and the Glens and everybody over in Britain, if you know anything about this, let me know. I'm really really curious. And then last, last but not least. Last but not least, I found these. We got Howard the Duck, number five, number three. I'm sorry, magazine. I picked this out right off the get go because now I'm, I'm like looking, uh, like actively looking for Christmas covers, and I had to, I had to get this. I had to get this. Um, really, really worth my while. Uh, I loved it. And then when I looked deeper on what else he had, I noticed that he had a copy of number two in there. This one's not the greatest shape, but I was like, all right, I got three, I got two, and then it brought me to get number one. Now I do have another copy of number one, but I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not? I got them all together. Let's bundle them. See how the price was right on there. Uh, why not get another copy of number one? So 
this is my spec copy. All right, all right. I'll clean it up and whatever. So I got Howard the Duck one, Howard the Duck two, and Howard the Duck three, which is my favorite cover out of all of them. Can't go wrong with that. So he gave me a deal, I believe. And if I'm like off by a couple bucks, shoot me. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't care. Um, I think he gave me everything all together. Thirty-five dollars, I think, all together, which I think was a really fair price. It was a really, really fair price. Now, like, obviously, the sticker prices are well beyond the, that uh, thirty-five dollars that are on here, but he, it was a really, really fair price. Really fair price. Some of them like are not a great shape, but he, he knew what he was selling. He also knew. He also appreciated the fact that I, I have a, a um, the same same thing about weird comics that he does. So. I think I think um, I think he knew they were going to good hands. You know, like all this stuff is our keepers. This is probably the only book that I, I'm not going to keep as a keeper. Uh, at one point or another, I'll see what I'll do after I clean it up and press it to see if uh, I could put it on like eBay or something like that. But everything else is staying in my collection because it's weird and it deserves to be in my collection. But that being said, I had a really good experience going there for the first time. I will definitely visit there again. Uh, really good guys. I think I met the the guy that runs it as well. I think his name is Mike. Good guy as well, uh, or Mike or Billy. <sighs> Who the hell is his name? Anyway, the guy, the, the you know, the Albanian guy. He, he, that guy, he's a good guy. He's from Astoria too. So, um, met him, Ian, uh, Carl, a whole bunch of people in there. They were good people. Uh, had a good time. I definitely recommend taking a look at the place, going there and uh, checking it out. Um, if you're in Queens, definitely worth it. If you're close to Queens, definitely worth the drive. Real, real old school feel, very real chill feel. Um, no hard pressure on sales. You go there, you hang out, you bullshit with everybody, buy some comics, you have a good time. That's basically it. I might even I might even set up a booth down there at one point or another because you know just sell some art and maybe sell some extra comics or whatever. Because I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Uh, we'll see. But that being said. Let me know what you think. Would you have bought this crap? Would you not bought this crap? I don't know. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got it. It's mine. Happy me. Happy me. I don't care. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I appreciate your input. I hope your day is as nice as your butt. <laughs> Worst episode ever.